Hey, buddy. Good morning. It's October 1st already. And October is the month of... Rosary. Very good. That's why our Mia Rosine is celebrating her birthday in October. October 7th, the Feast of the Rosary. Okay. So, you know what I want to do? Um, this month of the Rosary, month of October, I think... Um, uh, we will try to devote this month to learning a little bit more about the rosary and learning a little bit more about the mysteries of the rosary and how we could relive the uh, the rosary every day as we as we pray it okay the rosary is the favorite prayer of our lady and uh, it is the it is the prayer that she has recommended uh, to many saints and uh, in in several apparitions, oh oh, Eva, it's noisy. In several apparitions of Our Lady, notably Fatima, for example, uh, Our Lady urges everybody to pray the Rosary daily, and is particularly in Fatima, she was asking the children to pray for sinners, to pray for the conversion of sinners, to pray for the church, to pray for the Pope, right, and. Uh, well, in our family, we have been doing that, right? That's why in the in the beginning, when we pray the rosary, we already mentioned our intentions for which we pray the rosary. And uh, at the top of the list is the Pope, <clears throat> the, the bishops, our pastors. He is, what is she complaining about? So, and then all the other intentions that we pray for, the end of abortion, the institution of marriage, and all the other um, um, prayers, I mean, sorry, intentions that we keep in our hearts. We pray for those who are sick. We, we pray for the faithful departed. All of those things are, are included. You got to keep her silent. <laughs> all of those things are included in our rosaries. And we, uh, would like, I would like to encourage everybody to, uh, to pray the rosary every day as a family. If I'm a patron... The good old Father Peyton, who uh, popularized the praying of the rosary, had this saying, right? The family that prays together, stays, stays together. together. Okay? The family that prays together, stays together. So let's keep that in mind uh, in our own families. And let us, let us um, um, make it a point that we pray the rosary. Uh, if not complete rosaries, at least one or two decades a day that you can pray with your children. You know, we all live very uh, busy lives, and that is a reality, especially now in modern-day America, or I suppose all over the world. And time is always um, uh, uh, very uh, limited, and so many times we make the excuse that we don't have time to pray the rosary. Well, you have to be creative in the way you pray the rosary. And uh, just to give you an example of what we do, during the weekdays from Monday to, uh, to Thursday, okay, four days in a week. What we do is we pray the rosary in the, in the van on the way to Mass every morning. Because that's a good 10 minutes, uh, you know, eight to 10 minutes drive from home to church every morning. We already start praying the rosary. And we continue the rosary as, as we arrive uh, at the church. We continue praying the rosary in the parking lot uh, before we get down to, uh, to attend Mass. And we reserve the, uh, the um, Salve Regina prayer uh, to Our Lady uh, at the statue that uh, presides outside of the church. And that's the, way, that's the way we conclude the rosary. So that's how we do it every uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because precisely during those days, we don't have time during the day to, to pray together. Together is an important uh, way of doing it because... Our Lady has promised, um, or the Church has actually granted an indulgence to uh, those who would pray the, fa the Rosary as a family. So uh, try to attempt to do that with your family members. Pray the Rosary every day. And you gain plenary indulgence, uh, especially if you pray uh, for the Pope. Okay? Offer it up for the Pope. So... So this month, that's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll talk a lot about the rosary this month. And I just want to uh, start off with encouraging everybody to make it a habit. 
And there's really no excuse for us not to be able to say it because I mean, the whole rosary takes about 20 minutes. Uh, we should be able to carve out 20 minutes in a day. And if it's difficult, then do what you can to uh, do it even while traveling as we do every uh, four days in a week. On Fridays, we do it at the church while we're waiting in line for confession. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we do it at home, peacefully here at home. Oh no, on Sundays, sorry, Sundays we do it at the cemetery when we visit the grave of grandpa. And uh, that way we also pray for all the faithful departed in the, in the cemetery. Okay? So this is a very, very beautiful devotion, a favorite uh, devotion of Our Lady. And I'd encourage everybody to um, pray the rosary every day. Second thing you, need, you can do, which is a very good um, uh, devotion also in itself, is to keep the rosary in your pockets. Bring it with you everywhere you go. I have here my weapon. Look at that. My rosary beads <laughs> are made up of uh, steel bearings. <laughs> so nobody can dare come in front of me or, or mug me because they're going to get beaten up by these bearings. These are very heavy. See, very manly very manly rosary I got here, right? And right there is a medallion of St. Joseph. See? There is a medallion of St. Joseph. We cannot divorce uh, and separate St. Joseph from Our Lady. So I always have St. Joseph in my, my rosary. Because, you know, it's, it's uh, curious how the rosary is practically the story of our Lord's life. The story of Our Lady's uh, life with Jesus. But hardly is St. Joseph. Uh, mentioned in uh, in any of the mysteries of the rosary, right? Uh, of course, his presence in there is implied, but uh, I make it a point that he's part of it. That's why he's right there. Okay? And I don't know who came up with that meme on Facebook one day and says, uh, is the rosary in the Bible? Maybe it's not, but the Bible is in the rosary. So why? Because... Everything that we do, uh, all the mysteries that we contemplate in the uh, rosary is all taken from the life of our Lord and Our Lady, which are all narrated in the Bible, right? So for those of you, uh, 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 for our Protestant brethren who uh, only like what is in the Bible, well, then that's the answer for you. The rosary is not biblical because it may not be in the Bible, but the Bible is in the rosary. So that works, right? So, devotion to Our Lady by praying the Holy Rosary. Now, a little historical uh, um, note here. Um, the one who popularized the rosary is a saint called Saint Dominic. Okay, Saint Dominic was the one who popularized uh, the rosary. But the rosary apparently had an evolution. It's been around it's been around in, uh, in the church for a very, very long time, even before St. Dominic um, um, uh, popularized it and made it into a, uh, a formal kind of uh, uh, devotion. Apparently, the, um, um, the origin of it is the is 150 psalms that, um, because in the olden days, uh, it was difficult to uh, memorize these things or have a written um, you know, a book of Psalms and all that for everybody. So the shortcut was to make everybody pray 150 uh, Paternosters. That is why the Rosary was also originally called the uh, Paternoster uh, Prayer. Right? 150 of the Our Fathers. Because the Our Fathers summarized, uh, you know, the contents of our faith already. Uh, the prayer that uh, that Jesus taught us. So it was called the poor man's uh, uh, braviary. Okay, the 150 psalters um, or prayers. And then, uh, well, through the years, uh, different people in the church uh, started to uh, incorporate other things into the 150 paternosters until it evolved into the present day uh, rosary with the mysteries of the joyful events of our Lord's life, the, uh, the sorrowful and the glorious. Those were the original three. And then in the year, when was it? Is it 2012, I think, if I'm not mistaken? Do I have my notes here? When um, John Paul II uh, uh, added a new mystery, right? And what is that mystery? 
luminous. The luminous. Sorry, it was in 2002 when uh, John Paul II, Saint John Paul II, included now the luminous mysteries, the mysteries of light. Okay, so that is uh, how the rosary evolved. Uh oh, God bless you. Regardless of um, you know, how it actually uh, developed in the church, the fact is Our Lady loves this prayer. Our Lady has asked us to pray this prayer for the salvation of souls for, and for our own uh, salvation, for our own good. The rosary is our weapon. The rosary is our weapon to fight against evil. The rosary is our weapon to, to uh, ward off temptations. The rosary is our weapon to petition our Lord through the intercession of Our Lady for the many, many intentions that we have been asking from her and for everything that we uh, want to uh, ask our Lord um, for our own souls and for the good of others. So let us uh, remember to always keep the rosary handy. And anytime you have a free time, you know, waiting in the bus line, waiting in the library, or, I don't know, waiting in the doctor's office, or just doing uh, whatever you're doing, uh, you have some spare time, you know, if you have your rosary handy in your pocket, you can pray a decade or two, and, and that is going to be very helpful. You know, uh, I once heard it said that uh, John Paul II himself, Pope John Paul II, prayed at least 20 rosaries a day. Of course, I don't know if you can verify that, but those are certain uh, stories that used to circulate before. John Paul himself prayed 20 rosaries a day. You know, who can be busier than the Pope here? Raise your hand. <laughs> okay? But if John Paul II, the Pope of the Catholic Church, can pray 20 rosaries a day, my gosh, that's what made, he, maybe, uh, made him a saint, right? And the devotion to Our Lady is very, very strong. Very strong. By the way, what does the term rosary come from? Rose. The term rosary comes from the word rose. And because the rosary is like a garland, a garland of roses. All the Hail Marys we say is like a repetition of I love you to Our Lady. Right? It's like giving a bouquet of roses to a loved one. Well, here is our garland, garland of roses to Our Lady, and where every Hail Mary is actually an expression of love, right? An expression of love. And some, some people ask us, why do you keep repeating the Hail Mary? I mean, you know, 150 Hail Marys? Come on! You know, uh, if you're really sincere with your praying, <laughs> Ava, if you're really sincere and you're praying, one Hail Mary should be enough. Well, let me ask you, how many times do you say, I love you to your spouse? I know my own wife is not content with one or two. She, <laughs> she, would, she would, in fact, she would, in fact, uh, tease me about, hey, you haven't said I love you today, or you haven't said I love you this morning, or you haven't said I love you in an hour. You know? Uh, because, yes, it is an expression of love. And, and sometimes we human beings, we have a need to hear it. We have a need to express it. Well, Our Lady the same. Our Lady was a person. Our Lady is a human being. Our Lady was just like you and me. And she would love to have us uh, say, uh, I love you, 150 times at least every day. Because that is really an expression of our love and devotion for her okay but well, we are late and we need to run to mass today so um uh, uh wait for it every day we're going to deal with the rosary and we're going to talk about the rosary every day in the month of october as much as we can okay have a good day everybody good. see you tomorrow bye-bye